I S U P K. Boom bam, you already know it is your boy Twisted Reverend. Make sure you log into isupk.com and for those who are in the Birmingham area, make sure you get down to them classes every Wednesday, 7 till 9, flat 4, 108 Church Lane, Perry Bar, Birmingham, B20, 2ES. And for those who are in London as well, you can catch them at Speaker's Corner every Sunday or you can catch them down in Brixton, just off the main road, Brixton Hill. Boom, 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 back! Let's have a good vibe. Let's have a Nottingham. Let's have a Nottingham show me real homebound love, man. These guys hosted you, I'm sure they Man, listen, man, these guys treat me like we grew up in the sandbox together, man. I'm not in line, man. I'm telling straight up. Man, I've been here since the first week in December. Oh, wow. Yeah, them them must take me all over. I'm begging them to go to Scotland and Amsterdam. The whole state. Listen, I've been telling you where I ain't been. Yeah. You know what I mean? I've been. All right there. You know what I mean? That's my right there. He's spiritually twins. I'm trying to tell you. You know what I mean? So now I'm the break out. Kind of yeah, yeah, it's supposed to be on now. One of two point five FM in Leicester, Eric and Leon. So yeah, we've got Check literally a so minute before we go on air. I'll just cut this tube a bit short. Yeah, let's, let's start. To the mic like this, so you're pretty close. Yeah, you're pretty close. All right, no sweat. <laughs> Seven, you're locked into Evo FM 102.5 And you know what, I want to introduce you to my special guest live in the studio I've only got 15 minutes with them, so I'm going to go straight to them They're from the Israelite School of Universal Practical Knowledge, ISUPK And we've got Captain Mashak and we have Officer Ban Yam Yam in the studio live Here we go guys, how you doing? Boom, bang, bang, bang The Israelite School of UPK live in... United Kingdom, I'm Priest and Captain Mashak Mayam, straight out of 1 West Harlem, 125th Street, Harlem, New York, from 1969, ISUPK, been teaching the truth. That's I'm right. good, I'm, I'm glad to be here. I got, oh, introduce yourself, Ark, huh? you big enough. Officer of Fires and Bani of the ISUPK here. Get your mic in front of you, you know Yeah, man? it's Officer Bani Amyan of the Fires and the ISUPK, under the Commander General Hannah. Okay. So guys, how you guys doing? How's your stay been in UK so far? I mean, UK UK is love so far. You know, what I mean, I have I have the the best brothers hmm. that that a man could ask for on earth. Okay. You know, what I mean, the brothers house me, take me around. You know, the brothers' wives and sisters and cousins come across, take care of the brothers, cook. You know, do what they had to do, and push us around because they recognize that our mission is very important for what we do. You know what I mean? Like we teach the truth about the Bible, something that has been used for centuries to oppress, discredit, and destroy a certain race of people. Okay. And we've opened up that book and realized that those people who they say are special in the Bible are not the European or not um, who you would call the Jewish man today. But according to biblical proof and historic records that both line up, okay. combined with our living condition, that the 12 tribes of Israel are none other than the so-called Negro, 
the so-called Hispanic and the so-called Native Indians right. that have been enslaved and oppressed by every nation on the earth today. That's right. Okay, so before we move on any further, I want to talk about the Israelite School of Universal Practical Knowledge, the right. ISUPK. Mm -hmm. Talk to me about what you guys do in there and, and what does it represent, how did it start and come about and, you know... I've, I've briefly been on the website. Mm -hmm. I'm very new to this as well. I, I know a little bit about what you guys are talking about. Not so, not too much knowledge. Right. So it'd be nice to gain some knowledge myself. Right. In regards to what you guys are are, are, are trying to achieve, you know, and, and your organization and belief practice. Okay, well, I'll give you the history. Secondly, I'm gonna let Officer Banyamian step in and give you um, a, a, you know, explanation of what we do. Okay. And and as it pertains to UK. Because it's, it's no different wherever we go, but I'm, I'm going to let him give you that synopsis of... of so, the, Officer Ban Yamian, Ban, he's, Ban from, Yam -Yam. He's, from, he's from UK, and he's from, you're from... from I'm, from, I'm based in Washington, D.C., okay. and this is, this, this is my brother here. He's, um, he's based in the United Kingdom. Mm -hmm. He's one of the officers that head up the school over here that teach, and he's he going to give you the, the full-out um, operation of what we do and why we do, and I'll give you the history secondly, all right? Okay. Yeah, for us, uh, if I may... Uh, ISUP case is 1969. We've been teaching the truth for the Bible. The, the, the Bible is a black man's book. Hmm. You know, we are the real Jews of the Bible. The Bible is only for the Jews, and we are the Jews, the black people who have been in oppression, who were carried in slave ships for 400 years, who served our enemies. And it isn't a lovey dovey book of everyone hold hands and sing Kumbaya. It's a book of separation. You know what I'm saying? It gives us instructions in there for war, how to separate from our enemies, how to treat them differently, how to treat each other with love. You understand? What we teach primarily in a nutshell, is the, the law of the Bible, which is, you know, dietary law, brotherhood, all kind of, all kind of different little subcategories in there, but mainly the laws of the Bible and separation from all other nations. So, so this Bible, is it rewritten or is it the original, is it still the this, original scriptures? This King James Version okay. is perfect, you know what I'm saying? We go to the ancient Hebrew, also like my name as you called me, the officer Ban Yam Yan, yeah. that is ancient Hebrew, you know what I'm saying? We studied the ancient Hebrew and the modern Hebrew and you so know... just going back, King James if you explain to me, I don't know, I'm trying to Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. King, King James over the space of, I believe it was about 14 years, so is that right? About 7 about From 7 1605 to 1611 so like, like yeah. During that time period, uh, King James hired, I think it was just under 70 men to translate different books you know, let's say you give you Deuteronomy, you give him Genesis. Yeah. You, get, uh, you know what I'm saying? From the Hebrew, the Latin, the Greek. And uh, over that time, they compiled, you know what I mean? They, everyone was checking, checking each other's work, and then there you go, into the English. All he did was translate. It was already written a long time before. We often compare the Hebrew with the King James, and it's perfect. There's other versions we find that people have edited and tampered with. We don't touch that. All we deal with is the King James Version, 1611, That's of the right. Bible. That and is our King Bible. James was the king of which kingdom? Scots, King James of Scots, who was a black king. Yeah. He was a black man. He ruled. He ruled. He had a rulership seat in Europe. If I could just interject. Yeah, yeah. Of um, he he ruled in Europe as a black man through what was um, deemed to the European world as the Dark Ages during that time. He was ruling. So 1611, we're going by. He he. Okay, 1611 is when that translation was commissioned, right? That translation was commissioned, mm. and the work of translating it was mm. finished. Right, it was forty seven. He was a king based in Europe. You, you he was, was he? King James of Scots in Scotland. Scotland. Right? Okay, wow. So he he's a black man, right? Okay. He's he's a descendant of the Tudor family. You look into into the archaeology, there's a book called Nature Knows No Color Lines that has the um the family crest, what they call shields or seals, you know, different fam royal families have their symbols, their signets. Yeah, um, was that the wire taps? No, I'm just joking. No, I'm joking. <laughs> we've got a caller calling in the studio right now. Yeah, now right I was joking. Now. I was just joking. No, no, I'm gonna but, answer um, that. So if caller, if you're tuned in right now, stay locked in. When we when we come off, I will answer again. So we've got a caller on the studio right no now. No sweat. Yeah, okay. and and of course he, he just translated as the brother said. He mm. he was a, an Israelite by, by blood. That's right. But he he was not in what we would call the truth. Mm. He's no different than um, what's the guy from America? Um, Colin Powell. Colin Powell is a black man, he's the son of a slave, but he's a military general respected in the European kingdom, mm. right? It's no different than that. He had power, he had his own political agenda, he wanted to fight against the power that was there, but of course, in the 1600s, what else was going on? It was the beginning of the slave trade. Mm. So it's not to say that he was fighting and championing for the cause of his people, but of course, the power we serve use every opportunity to preserve the work of his people. 
And King James just translated it from the ancient Hebrew, which is called Aramaic. It's falsely called, um, no, it's, it's falsely called Aramaic. It's really from Eba. And um, translated that, the Latin and the Greek, into what we have today as the Old Testament, the Apocrypha, and the New Testament. Wow. Okay, that's amazing, guys. It's a lot of knowledge there, just there, the history that you're talking about, right? It definitely. That's why we have the Israelite School of Universal and Practical Knowledge. Like that's, you, that's the organization which you're representing right now. That's the organization. And that's who was the founder of your organization, and when did it start? Okay, this is that's that's the history. That's what I'm going to go into now. In the roundabout, roundabout. Okay, this. What we're talking about is knowledge that the slaves had, okay. right? In the early 1900s, as the slaves started coming north, further north after so-called abolition of slavery and civil wars and all that sort of stuff, the, the, the history have been trans, transferred from brother to brother word of mouth. There was a brother by the name of Abba Bivens who studied with what at that time was a black section of what you would call the Jewish Orthodox people from the synagogues, and as they're learning and getting the breakdowns and doing the, the history, yeah. those brothers start realizing the Bible is not talking about the white Jewish man. Like, his history is not in the Bible. That's you right. understand? He, his, his whole society is actually um, a combination of German and Polish people and, and some of um, the people from Czech, Austria, who settled, who were um, specifically put in there. It's well known in Eastern history or Eastern hemispheric history that the Jewish man in that land today is not the real Jew. Um, the Egyptian ambassador to the UN, I believe in the 1940s or 20s, Abdel Nessa said, how could a people leave the land black and return white? It's common knowledge. So those brothers realized what was going on and Abba Bivens, he started delving more into the history. And then he came to New York and started teaching more and teaching us the truth of the Bible, teaching us the history. And he was the brother who um, started teaching what we call the seven heads, which was seven brothers who learned under him. Abba Bivens was later assaulted and murdered in the streets of New Jersey by Israelites, sons of slaves, who followed a religion that has nothing to do with us, which was Islam. That was the time Islam was taking root also in America because black people wanted something to rebel against and something to self-represent. Mm -hmm. And, of course, effectively what, they, what ended up happening is that we traded slave masters. We traded the white Jesus for some prophet Muhammad who is a, not a prophet and has nothing to do with us and follow a religion that has nothing to do with us and causes us to commit violence against each other. When you say us, you're talking about... The so-called Negro in America, the West Indian, okay. the Hispanic, and the Native Indian. Those people, we have nothing to do with the religions of this earth. And that's what we, um, the, those brothers started um, uncovering as they did their research. Those seven brothers, like any good son would do after his father left, continued the work of the Lord. And in 1969 is when... The Israelite school of UPK was official and started, and we've been on the streets teaching ever since, from 1 West, 125th Harlem, New York, the home of the truth. That's we've right. been on the streets teaching. You look in any old, the, the other day they made a movie called Barry with the, the, the initial history of Barack Obama, and there's a famous scene in there, three scenes where he walked past the Hebrew Israelites, and that's a representation of ISUPK. So, and nothing else. I just want to stop you guys. When you use the word, the term Israelites, give mm -hmm. me some more knowledge on there to the listenership, to the listeners out there. What do you guys mean by Israelites? Okay, no problem. You want them? Come on. Come Go on. ahead, Art. Yeah, come yeah. on, sir. Uh, Israelites, it's like, uh, means we are the sons of Israel. Mm -hmm. Okay. You know, it's so a the people of Israel. The pe it depends what you think Israel is. It's, we don't call, it's not a landmass. You know what I'm saying? It's a bloodline. It's a family. I know the Jewish people today, they think, like, I don't know, you can follow their, uh, their ways and you become a Jewish. It's not like that for us, you know what I'm saying? I might go to China, speak Chinese and uh, get Chinese passport, but I'll never be a Chinese man. And exactly. Be, being an Israelite, being a Jew is a bloodline, it's a family. The 12 tribes of Israel are based from 12 sons of, of a Jacob. man called Israel. Yeah, Jacob had his name changed to Israel. Yes, 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 yes. So yes, we yes, could yes, say yes, Jacobites, Israelites. Okay. Uh, if you have your son, sorry, what's your name again? VJ. VJ, your sons, you could call them VJites. Yeah. It's yeah. nothing more than that, Rivera. Really. Umrahites. Um, there you go. Then. Yeah, yeah, there um, you go. And if, if I could interject, even in, in every culture, there's um, terminology to refer to the son of, right? So to be even in, um, to, I, to, Irish or Scottish, guys, the Mac. Mac is son of. Sorry go to ahead. interrupt. To be mm -hmm. an Israelite, you have to be blood, it has to be 
blood within blood relations. Yes. Okay. So not anyone can be part of. The... No, it's is Israelite is a race. Okay. It's like um, what's your nationality? My national, I'm British. No, that's your citizenship. Okay. So your, I'm 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 from a Indian origin. So your your people would be your nationality would be Indian. Hmm. I can never be Indian, no matter how much I try. No matter how much I follow Indian um, constitution, no matter if I follow... But that was just... The way I see it is that was, I was born here, and obviously my parents were... My mum was born in East Africa. Okay. So my mum was born in East Africa, Kenya, and my mm. dad was born in India. So if I could... Uh, yeah, oh, ever, I won't ask. Yeah, yeah. If you were born in the middle of the sea, would that make you a fish? No. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> you, you get my point? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It has nothing to do with where you were born. Okay. Kobe Bryant was born where? I've got no in idea. Je Come on. So like I thought he was in a plane? No, I thought he was born in Japan. He grew oh, up in see, Japan. See, see, and then in Italy. Say, say again? He grew up in China. Yeah, he grew up over there. He, was, he, he didn't grow up in... Italy, he, yeah. I think it was Italy or so Japan I'm, he was I'm born I'm kind in. of understanding. So Israelite, the term, is a race of people. It is a race yeah, of people. Okay, it okay. is a bloodline. It's the son of Israel. That, that term, it, means son of. Like, um... Uh, ben something in Jewish. It means son of or McIntyre, son of. The phone's not stop ringing. Call her. I'm going to answer this phone, right? <laughs> you know what, guys? I really have to say to you, you know, I wish you came a lot earlier. There's another show that's starting, which is starting at 7 p.m. Oh, it's starting man. in a different language. Because as you know, at EVA FM, we're multilingual. Of course. EVA stands for East African Voice Association. But we okay. believe in at EVA, there's so many different communities that have come over to Leicester, right. we said, right, we're going to create a radio station where we can have every community here, every belief system, mm. and they can talk. So we've got the Polish show ready to start at 7 p.m. <laughs> how many more minutes we have? Anything, guys, you guys want to add? And are you guys coming? When are you? How long are you in the UK for? Um, okay, right now, the, I, I'm debating with the brothers whether to extend my stay. It was so fantastic. Okay, then you I'm... come back and we can have a real hour. On, on air and we I think that would about, be great. Yeah? I think that would be great. Two hours. Yeah. Two okay. hours. They didn't have enough of us. Yeah. Listen, and if I could, I want to say, like, I think this, this forum is very good that it allows every, you know, ethnicity, every community to come on and voice and speak to their people. <laughs> Trying to find something to follow Had loyalty, every man tried to borrow Felt pain, and a lot of sorrow Got betrayed, so packed I didn't even have my heart broke Living confused, about to lose hope Cops got me on the side of the road Like a sideshow, need an antidote before I croak Now I'm setting fire to rhythm man blues Call this guitar smoke Rebel with no cause, trying to find direction The world got me vexed Picked up a bad lick of habit that's hereditary from oppression Felt like my life was on fire trying to find an exit Now look, 10 G's plus a good wreck Sometimes a follower is a soldier Trying to find a good ship. Plus when you in hell, how do you excel? Wisdom the breath of life, I don't believe in fairy tale. Listen well to what I tell No calling can cause pain Something that a rebel knows very well can't you tell I was sent from the Lord? Got a tongue like a two-edged sword.